today I'm just uh, cutting some 60 degree triangles for my next quilting project, which would be like a patriotic thing for the 4th of July. So I call myself starting in plenty of time so that I may actually get done before the um, fourth gets here. So we shall see. Finish. I got this rotating mat for my birthday last year. So, so far so good. So, you know, you always want to be cutting away from yourself. And then I normally use a piece of junk mail to keep up with my numbers, as you can see there. And then I mark the um, crosswise grain. If you see that blue line, that blue line runs parallel with the crosswise grain because it's you still have to keep your pieces in the right direction. So cross grain should go side to side and long ways should go up and down the core. So if I look at my, let's see, this is this one. I don't know if you can see the little pencil mark. So when I piece it, it should be like this. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Hmm. Let's see how that's going to go. Oh. <laughs> That's so silly. I try to make the both pieces go up. So, this one. See the crosswise? And then crosswise. So, they go together like this. And you can see the blue on the red. And the pencil marking on the on the stars, and that's how it goes. So you still have to keep your prints going in the wrong direction, ah! the right direction. My fault. The up and down goes up and down, and the side by side goes side by side. So you have to still follow that rule. You know. So oh, yeah, I'm just uh, cutting out some um, 60 degree triangles today. Hopefully my little project will be done by the 4th. So I'll upload some videos as I make progress, you know. I bought this little rotary, uh, rotating mat for my birthday last year. You know how sometimes you have to treat yourself, you know. So yeah, that's what I did. So yeah, this is it. And this is my 60 degree triangle ruler. I do have a little fear of triangles. When I took my uh, quilting class, it was like a basic quilting class. So it didn't really get into 60 degree triangles. So I think for the next year, 12 months, I'll do 60 degree triangle quilt projects to kind of uh, conquer my fear. So we'll see how things go. Oh God, it moved. And I normally keep my hand on it. We're going to cut that one again. Because I normally keep my hand on it. Let me show you. And I'm cutting out two and a half inch triangles. And 
and then I ain't gonna lie. I was keeping my hand on it. And you know we do that anyway. You have to hold the ruler in place. So I do it like this. Right? So the ruler doesn't move. I don't know what I was just doing. I know I supposed to have my hand in place and didn't even put it there. That's another one. And see what I like about these is uh the point is flat, so I know the crosswise grain is down here because the top is flat, and then the crosswise grain runs parallel to down here. So I could just mark these when I get through making my video. I've already marked the up. So then it's the then I fold it like that, right? And uh, then I just come back and uh, cut another one. And I'm losing a little fabric because I'm not all the way on the edge because I want to make sure that it's correct. So you know, I can just actually put that there and then hold it. Hold it, hold it, rotate and hold, rotate and hold. Okay, y'all can't see that. Okay, then cut. All right. Hold and rotate. Don't just rotate, cause if you if you don't hold and rotate, the ruler gonna move. Then your piece not gonna be the right side. So the key is to hold while rotating, both at the same time, multitasking. Yeah, I know what to do. But I'm just, you know, conquering my little fear of these six degree triangles. So we're going to see how it go. And everything I know, I just watch some YouTube videos and, uh, I was like, okay, I think I can do that. So we'll see. I just watch some YouTube videos. You know, and it also helps that I've taken a quilting class to just try to know, have an idea, you know. Oh, hold, rotate. And cut. Because you always Supposed to cut away from yourself, which is a that's a lot. I'm like, how all these people, these quilters, end up in all these bandages if they cutting away from they said, Now, I know y'all know better than that. Like, they have their band aids on for the wounds, and I'm like, What happened? Because you're supposed to be cutting away from yourself. Like, I don't want to be in the hospital because this right here, come on now, that's a blade. You're going to cut, you're going to hurt yourself. Then you're going to be in the emergency room trying to get stitched up. I don't want that. Now, that, 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 that ain't fun. Like, I, I don't want to be in the emergency room. From quilt. So, y'all make sure y'all cutting away from y'all still. Hold. Hold, roll. Hold, hold, hold. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And then... Put that way. Then I add to my little stack over here. Then I'm going to go through all these and mark the crosswise on the bottom before I put in my other stack up there. And then we'll cut some more. Oops. Turn around. Okay. Little fold. I ain't even worry about that. And uh, yeah. Oh, I think I can go over just a inch. Save some fabric, huh? I'm gonna just put that on there. Do it not move, move right there. See, I'm teaching y'all something. And just a scrap over here. And then hold it. And hold on. 
rotate. And see, then I'm clumsily putting away from myself and not to myself. Okay. And I put them a little stack. Oh, and I'll bring them right there. And do my little ripple on the edge. And uh, make sure you all uh, hit the like button. Do a comment, share, you all know the routine. So I think what I plan to do is do everything for the next 12 months, 60 degree triangles, cook projects. So then I'll call it a 60 degree triangle quilt challenge so whatever it is hashtag 60 degree triangle quilt and then that way all of us will conquer our fear of 60 degree triangles like jump right in just jump right into it and do it i mean what do you have to lose nothing to lose everything to gain and I just go back up here and uh, straighten up that. And it's all right on the edge right there. I got this fabric from a chain store. So I have red, white, and blue. The red and the blue, the red stars and the blue stars came from the um, chain store. And the white fabric came from the quilt shop. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Rotate, 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 rotate. Okay, and then make your next cut. And there's your piece. And there's your piece. So I mark down here like a straight line, straight line for the crosswise grain for when I go and put them together. It'll be in the right spot. So ain't nobody got time to be having the grains messed up. Then it ain't gonna look right. And then you may not be able to tell up close. But you would definitely be able to see it from a distance. And it's like a total waste of time. Because we're finna rip all them seams I right? It's gonna be what it's gonna be. degree triangles for today thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel and here you go 60 degree triangles these are what you call 60 degree triangles for your quilts and then you cut them and you sew them and then have fun Tell them, have fun, so whatever you want to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Share, share, share. Comment, comment, comment. Thanks for watching. Check it later.